topic of the show. Well, really of the show, not really. It's a topic that we want to talk about. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit you, good fellows, with it. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this topic? Yeah. What is the stupidest thing you have ever done as a kid? Mm. So we're gonna define oh. what a kid is. This is from one to ten. After oh. ele- when you're eleven and twelve, you start getting a bit of sense, or at least I did. And then when you're 13, you're not a kid anymore. You're a big, dirty teenager. So, um... Oh, a big, dirty teenager. No. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, whoever wants to answer this first, you go right ahead. Well, I'm sure if Nick started, he wouldn't be done for another five hours. Well, that's why we start with Nick. Get him over and fucking done with. Yeah. I feel the love, guys. Anyway. <laughs> um... So... Uh, let's see, the stupidest thing I've ever done as a kid. Could I, like, go above that? Because the stupidest shit I've done actually happened to me as a teenager. My not God. as a child. Okay, you stupid teen. Alright, so I'm gonna go on a personal note. This is about to get very graphic. Oh, God. Okay, Can I put hey. my dick away? Uh, <laughs> you might want to leave it out. Ooh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right, so um, the stupidest thing I think I've ever done, and I'm going to be blunt at first, was put toothpaste inside of my dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so. Okay. Normal so curious. far. As, as a teenager, right? I was very curious, and I was doing a lot of things. Shooting air into my dick, water into my dick, fucking uh, anything that I could really get my hands on, right? Side note, does so... your dick still work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does, luckily. Uh, the things <laughs> I did to it, I would, oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, yeah, I am too. A lot of twisting. A lot of twisting. When you go, I don't want to hear the rest. Just do this. want to get it done with, please. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so, um, so one day I'm taking a shit, right? It's like a big old nasty shit, right? Like you know, one after you just had a chili dog, you know, one that's just sitting there, like, <laughs> and like all up in that toilet, you know. And all of a sudden, Is the toilet on the roof? No, my toilet on in my bathroom. Oh, you said all up in that and, toilet, so I presumed. It was, so, you know. day, so at this point. I'm starting to feel kind of turned on for some reason and scientific and shit. Are you you feeling Um, like getting a Blumpkin? (laughs) Oh, yeah, totally. For Mm. those who don't know, a Blumpkin is when... Should should I explain it to the audience? I don't think you should. It's when you... (laughs) No. Anyway, so in this case, the Blumpkin I was getting was from a toothpaste fucking vial. So anyway... (laughs) It was actually the correct terminology would be a reverse blumpkin, maybe. <laughs> um, so anyway, <clears throat> so I grab the toothpaste and I think, oh, this will be interesting, right? And I stick the fucking tip of the toothpaste file right into my dick hole, right? Like I pull the lips out, and you know how big those fucking mm-hmm. toothpaste things are? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that went in, right? And then I rolled up the toothpaste, right, thing, right, and I squeezed it as hard your, as I could. Was your piss minty? Oh, it was an interesting feeling, right? So I did that, right? Three seconds in, I start getting this minty burning feeling, right, and this drying fucking feeling. And three minutes in, I was sitting there, and I just looked at the ground, and I was like, I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So I pull it out, right? And then I go on this fucking piss rant, right? With this fucking blue shit coming out of my dick, right? And it's coming out, right? And oh, it was like worse than having a kid passing a kidney stone. I was sitting there biting on my shirt because my urethra was burning like fucking hellfire, right? Sitting there holding onto my shirt like... <laughs> Right? As it's coming out, right? It's like, it felt like I took a fucking drill bit from a drill and st- 
stuck it in my dick hole and just <laughs> ran it on fucking high setting, right? At this point, and I, I would not be surprised if you've actually done that. Mm, I did. I'm not even kidding. Go and on, I, continue and, your story. And and for two weeks straight, I pissed fire. <laughs> See, I had the same run in with pissing fire, but it was with a five dollar hooker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's my stupidest thing. Go. I don't think anyone's gonna fucking beat that now. You, you, you. I, someone else talk. I mean, like, as as far as stupid shit goes, um, shit. I did some. I did some embarrassing stuff when I was younger, but not a lot of not a lot of really stupid things. Uh, there was this girl who, um, who who uh, she used to she used to come over. Uh, let's just say her name was. Um, let's just say her name was. Um, you know, let's just not say a name. Uh, John. And so, and so I was like ten or eight or something, and uh, I was I was in the bathroom taking taking a mad fucking shit, right? <laughs> I'm taking a shit. And, <laughs> <laughs> and and she was over, and she was like, her and her and my brother were uh, were like jumping on the trampoline or something, and uh, she she came in and she was like knocking on the door and like uh the bathroom door and i was getting annoyed by this because like I, I i was like saying that i was in there but she kept knocking and so i just opened it <laughs> like <laughs> i wasn't wearing anything and she just fucking like her face got like white as a ghost she like covered like covered her mouth and then like ran out <laughs> And then I closed the door and proceeded to wipe my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think anything weird of it until I like thought about it when I was like fourteen. And I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> uh, that that's funny. That's that's funny. All right. Um. I guess it's my turn. So I don't know. I think I was about. Uh, Six, seven, eight. One of those ages. And I was over at my Ooh, friend's. Early, huh? Yeah, I, I was over at my friend's house for a sleepover. And um, uh, I, 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 it was, it was late at night, and we were playing sword. He had a lot of toys. This, this friend had a lot of uh, play toys, and. Um, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a lot of girls with play toys nowadays. <laughs> uh, how do I see that coming? And he had swords and shit. And we were playing fake sword fights, <laughs> right? And, uh, mm -hmm. and he's like, yeah, we were having fun. He's like, I need to go out to the toilet. So he went out to the toilet. And I was like, yeah, cool. Uh, I'll get him on the way back in. And I was there like, pretending to like, like uh, <laughs> uh, move my sword. Like I'm a big sword fighting magician genius thing. Uh, and they're -ha -ha, like I'm Bruce Lee and then I, sm I put the sword on my knee and I smash it over my knee and I broke his toy sword and I didn't know what to do I was really worried I was like oh my god did I do I have two pieces of the sword <laughs> so <laughs> what I do is I need to hide it before, before he gets back from the bat room right so what mm -hmm. I do is, is I throw the um <laughs> I throw the piece of the sword that's remaining, the, the longer piece of the sword with the handle still on it, on the floor, and I throw the broken piece uh, somewhere behind his locker or wherever, where, wherever I threw it somewhere to hide it, uh, and I just left it there on the floor and and went on his computer, uh, and pretended that nothing happened, but then that I'm done with the sword fight and all, and that I put it down when he went to the toilet. So I went on his computer and went on YouTube or whatever. Was the YouTube around at that time? Yeah, 2005 it would have been. 2006? I don't no. Know. It was early. 2006. Yeah, it was around 2006. Like, it was really early days of YouTube. And uh, he comes in and he sees the, the sword on the floor, like fucking, like treat like one third of the size it used to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm just there on the on the computer, and he's like, "Did you see what happened to my sword?" And I just nod it. I'm like, "No, I didn't see anything that happened." And he's like, "Who the fuck broke this? Oh, I gotta kill whoever <laughs> broke this." 
<laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, was it you, Key? I mean, obviously I won't kill you. I'm like, no, how would I have broken it? Like, you, you saw me playing with them earlier. And he's like, I'm a wimpy little potato. How <laughs> yeah. do I break it? How did I break it? And I was there on the computer and I was, I, I was just looking up like, <laughs> I was like super shit in his computer. The part on the computer is really important. So that's why I keep mentioning it. And I just look up, uh, to try and save the subject. I look up, Barney is gay. Right, and I searched that. That's the go-to thing. Yeah, and I searched that. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I searched that on YouTube. I'm like, look at these stupid videos. And then he calls his mother, and he's like, "Ma, mommy, look, someone broke my sword." And and I'm like, "Oh shit!" So she comes in, and she's like, "Oh no, what happened here?" And he's like, "He's all upset over his sword. That's one third of the size it used to be." And she's like, "It's okay, we'll get you a new one." And then she looks over at me in the computer, and there's nothing. Fucking gay shit! I'm looking up on YouTube, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, she's like, "What is that you're looking at?" Key? And I'm like, "It's Barney," <laughs> and she's like, "Get that's you, stupid YouTube! Turn that off! Turn that off!" And that's about where the story ends. Nothing much really happened. I don't know if we ever found out that it was actually me that broke the sword. So he was stupid in a way as well, but. I think that's a stupid enough thing I don't. You blame a child for thinking that you can break the sword. You're fucking stupid. You know. That? Yeah. But yeah, I hope I don't think that lived up to to Nick's one or even Jack's one. But I guess it, it was all right. 